Bilistine, sold under the brand name Bilaxtin among others, is a second-generation antihistamine medication which is used in the treatment of allergic rhinoconjunctivitis and urticaria hives. It exerts its effect as a selective histamine H1 receptor antagonist, and has an effectiveness similar to cetirizine, fexofenidine, and desloratadine. It was developed in Spain by Phase Pharma. Bilistine is approved in the European Union for the symptomatic treatment of allergic rhinoconjunctivitis and urticaria, but it is not approved for any use in the United States. Bilistine meets the current European Academy of Allergy and Clinical Immunology EAACI, and Allergic Rhinitis and its Impact of Asthma ARIA, criteria for medication used in the treatment of allergic rhinitis. Bilistine has been effective in the treatment of diseases of allergies, including rhinoconjunctivitis. Additionally, bilistine has been shown to improve quality of life, and all nasal and eye symptoms related to allergic rhinitis. Medical uses Allergic rhinoconjunctivitis The clinical efficacy of bilistine in allergic rhinitis and urticaria has been assessed in 10 clinical assays in which over 4,600 patients were involved. All of them compared bilistine with placebo and another second-generation antihistamine with confirmed efficacy active comparator. Allergic rhinitis The studies on SAR were double-blind, placebo-controlled parallel group involving male and female patients over 12 years of age with symptomatic disease at the beginning of the study. Nasal symptoms, sneezing, rhinorrhea, nasal itching and congestion, were assessed both before treatment and during treatment period on a daily basis. Non-nasal symptoms, itchy eye, watery eye, itchy ear and palate, were also assessed according to a 0 to 3 scale, so that the total symptom score TSS, and other related parameters could clearly reflect daily evolution of SAR in each patient and treatment group. Parameters such as quality of life and discomfort were also assessed, and in the same way the type and frequency of A, tolerability and general safety of treatment were registered. In this SAR studies the daily oral administration during 14 days of bilistine proves to have the same efficacy as the administration of cetirizine and desloratadine. Urticaria a review article evaluated data from trials which detailed the efficacy of bilistine in skin models and urticaria to assess whether bilistine has an optimal profile for updosing an urticaria. The authors concluded that bilistine has an excellent profile for both efficacy and safety, although there is a need for controlled clinical trials to compare the efficacy of bilistine in a real-life updosing study in patients with urticaria, paying special attention to itch control. Dosage. It is taken by mouth and shows a rapid onset of action within 30 to 60 minutes. It should be taken only by children older than 12 years and adults. Side effects Toxicity of bilistine investigated in preclinical toxicology studies in mice, rats and dogs after oral and intravenous administration showed no mortality observed after oral administration of massive doses. After intravenous administration, LD50, lethal dose for 50% of animals values were 33 and 45 to 75 mg per kilogram in mice and rats, respectively. No signs of toxicity were observed in any organ after bilistine massive overdosing, either orally, in mice, rats and dogs, or intravenously, in rats and dogs, during four weeks. No effects on fertility, no teratogenic or mutagenic effects, and no apparent carcinogenic potential were seen in the studies carried out in rats, mice and rabbits. In clinical research, bilistine has proven to be well tolerated, with an adverse events profile similar to that of placebo in healthy volunteers, patients with R and with chronic idiopathic urticaria. Although the tolerance profile of bilistine and levocetirizine or desloratadine were very similar, bilistine was markedly better tolerated than cetirizine in a clinical assay in SAR, with fewer adverse events in the bilistine group. No anticholinergic adverse events were observed in the clinical trials with bilistine. No serious adverse events were reported during the research and there were no clinically significant changes in vital signs, electrocardiography, ECG, or laboratory tests. 
pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic profiles and studies in special populations indicate that bilistine as dose adjustment is not necessary in elderly patients, or in hepatic or renal insufficiency. Cardiac safety the clinical cardiac safety of bilistine has been assessed in all of the clinical trials performed so far more than 3,500 patients treated with bilistine and in a phase 1 study thorough QT, QTC study, designed according to the IC E14 guidance and the most demanding requirements from the Food and Drug Administration FDA. When electrocardiograms ECG, data from all of the Phase I studies are analyzed, no significant alteration is appreciated in any of the parameters after administering bilistine at single doses up to 11 times the therapeutic dose, nor at multiple doses up to 10 times the therapeutic dose. Phase II and three studies on R and urticaria, including the open-label extension phase of 12 months, do not reveal alterations in the ECG, nor significant prolongations of the QTC interval after administration of bilistine 20 mg. The thorough QT, QTC study was designed to assess the effect on the QT, QTC interval, both of the therapeutic dose, 20 mg, and 100 mg of bilistine, but also the co-administration of the therapeutic dose with usual doses of ketoconazole, 400 mg per day, a metabolism inhibitor and APGP-dependent transport system. It was verified that bilistine 20 and 100 mg administered during 4 days, does not induce significant changes in the QT, QTC interval duration in any of the individuals. Likewise, co-administration of bilistine 20 mg and ketoconazole 400 mg does not produce any significant prolongation of the QT, QTC interval attributable to bilistine. Interactions Preclinical data suggest the possibility of interactions between bilistine and drugs or food that are inhibitors or inducers of the P glycoproteins. Co-administration of bilistine and grapefruit juice, a known P glycoprotein mediated drug transport activator, significantly reduced bilistine systemic exposure. This interaction is due to the known effect of grapefruit flavonoids on intestinal transporter systems such as P glycoproteins and organic anion transporting peptide (OATP). Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Bilistine binds to guinea pig cerebellar histamine H1 receptors key equals 44 nm and to human recombinant histamine H1 receptors key equals 64 nm with an affinity comparable to that of astamizole and diphenhydramine and superior than that of cetirizine by threefold and fexofenadine by fivefold corkostegui in different murine models, bilistine by oral route, antagonizes the effects of histamine in a dose-dependent manner, with potency similar to that of cetirizine and between 5.5 and 10 times greater than that of fexofenadine. Preclinical investigations demonstrate the affinity and specificity of bilistine for histamine H1 receptors compared with other histamine receptors subtypes and other 30 receptors from different amines. In vivo experimentation confirmed the antihistaminic and antiallergic activity, which was at least comparable to that of other second-generation H1 antihistamines such as cetirizine. Pharmacokinetics Absorption Bilistine is most quickly absorbed with the absence of food, and reaches a mean peak plasma concentration of 220 nanograms per milliliter approximately 1 H after both single and multiple dosing. Absorption is reduced by a high-fat breakfast or fruit juice, and the estimated global oral bioavailability is approximately 60%. Bilistine has linear pharmacokinetics in the 2.5 to 220 mg dose range in healthy adult subjects without evidence of accumulation after 14 days of treatment. Distribution Bilistine distribution has an apparent volume of distribution of 1.29 L per kilogram, and has an elimination half-life of 14.5 H and plasma protein binding of 84 to 90%. Metabolism Bilistine is not significantly metabolized in humans and is largely eliminated unchanged both in urine and feces, a third and two-thirds of the administered dose, respectively, according to a phase 1 mass balance study with radiolabeled bilistine. 
bilistine does not readily cross the blood-brain barrier and is not metabolized by the liver. 96% of the administered dose is eliminated within 24 hours. In relation to its antihistamine effect, oral doses of 20 mg daily of bilistine, measured as skin wheel and flare surface areas for 24 hours, bilistine is capable of inhibiting 50% of the surface areas, throughout the whole administration interval. Chemistry Bilistine, or 2, 4, 2, 4, 1, 2 ethoxyethyl, B E N Z I M I D A Z O L 2 Y L P I P E R I D I N 1 Y L ethyl, phenyl, minus 2 methylpropionic acid, is a novel molecule with a molecular weight of 463.6 daltons and a chemical structure similar to piperidinyl benzimidazole. Bilistine can be therefore classified into the same chemical group as many of the new antihistamines on the market, although it is not structurally derived, nor is it a metabolite or enantiomer of any of them, but an original molecule designed with the intent of fulfilling all the requirements of a second-generation antihistamine. Research Clinical studies using different dosages were done on histamine-induced wheel and flare reaction over a 24-H period, compared with a single 10 mg oral dose of cetirizine. The results of this research indicated that bilistine was at least as efficient as cetirizine in reducing histamine-mediated effects in healthy volunteers. Remarkably, 20 and 50 mg of bilistine reduced the wheel and flare reaction significantly more quickly than cetirizine. References